When we were little, a lot of us used to cook up fried bologna, and we would like the uh, the edges burnt. And then when we grew up, we kind of like to continue with, you know, burning our food a little bit, you know, just charred, crisp it a little bit, you know. So what I'm going to do today, I introduced this to my Facebook friends a while back, how to cook smoked sausage in your air fryer. And um, you want it to taste as much like a grilled sausage as possible. So, what I've done is I've set my air fryer on the highest rating, 400. This is the little cheap Walmart model, <clears throat> but it does the job. You know, my wife and I, we use this air fryer almost every day. We cook all kind of stuff in it, and it cooks one hell of a steak. But what I'm going to do is show you how to air fry your sausages and make them taste grilled. It's kind of a funny procedure. I like to go with the Johnsonville sausages. Uh, I like spicy, which is what this New Orleans is. They do have beef hot links. I don't really care for those. I like them, but I don't like, you know, how they make me belch afterwards. But these New Orleans sausages do the trick. So let's get into let's get into it and let me show you what I do. Okay, first we're going to open the sausage. I'm going to cut the air fryer on and let that continue to uh, just stay heated up. This is kind of a weird process, but it was developed through trial and error. I like to eat two at a time, so I'm going to cook me two. Now what I do is, I cut like not even a fourth of an inch spiral all around the sausage. You want to cut a spiral because I've learned that if you cut down one side, the sausage will curl up like the letter O. So it's kind of like making grill marks in the sausage, you know. and the skin of the sausage it keeps a lot of stuff trapped inside <clears throat> but I like to have my sausages fully cooked you know I want that hot intense heat to get up into the uh, to the inside of the sausage so I, I break this skin all the way around so you cut spirals around them Can be kind of messy you can make them longer if you choose to I might need to sharpen my knives up a little bit kind of butchered this one I almost cut it in half but it'll still work <clears throat> so again I have this on the highest setting about 400 degrees or a little bit over what we do at this point we drop them into the fryer I like to wipe mine out. Sometimes I wash it if I cook real greasy foods, but for the most part, I'll just wipe it out just so they kind of keep some of that essence in it, kind of like a lot of people do their grills. So what I do is I shut it, put it on five minutes, and I'll be back in five minutes to show you what it looks like after five minutes. I'm going to cook it longer, but I'll be back in five minutes. All right, while I'm waiting on that to finish, man, I encourage people to buy one of these things. I mean, it cooks all kind of stuff, man. I mean, there's even a recipe for cooking a cake in here. You know, I haven't used this cookbook much, but, you know, if we ever want to do something out of the ordinary, all we got to do is grab it. But let's open up this air fryer and see what our sausages look like after five minutes. Now see, you see where I'm going with it now? Now that's after five minutes. Now me, 
I like my food burnt. So I'm going to cook it another maybe three to five minutes. Normally I go for the whole five, but since I'm showing y'all, I'll probably just do three more minutes. Sometimes I shake them a little bit just to twist them up and whatnot. So we're going to shut it. And get that time going again. But yeah, man, this book, I mean, my goodness, marinated salmon, you cook frittatas, I love frittatas, <clears throat> check out the Jimmy Dean frittatas in your local uh, food mart if you've never had one, it's eggs, Let's see. stuffed mushrooms, Sweet potato chips. Look at this crap, man. Chocolate chip cooked in an air fryer, dude. In an air fryer. Muffins. They tell you how you can make all this stuff in there. I think that's the dessert section. Onion rings, of course. Uh, if you got, like, frozen fries or frozen hash browns, I like to cook some frozen hash browns in here. They cook up in about 10 minutes. Um, I cook just about everything on the highest setting. Unless it's something, you know, that'll just burn up too quick on me. Sometimes you gotta be careful, but for the most part, you don't have to. <clears throat> and like I said, this is the cheap Walmart version air fryer. And apes. I love it. It's the Faberware, Farberware, all this fryer. You can find it at Walmart. I don't know how much my wife paid for this. She got it for me for Christmas. You know, ain't it funny how when you get a gift, it's always for the family. I remember a, a couple of Father Days ago, I got a, a grill. <laughs> for Christmas, I got the air fryer. <clears throat> got a George Foreman over here. I had to just go buy that myself. I didn't want that to be a gift. But uh, we're almost done. So we got just a few minutes left. And I'm just going to shut it down for now and come right back. Okay, it's finishing up. About to hear that ding in a second because it never goes all the way to zero. Wipe my stuff off. I like to keep it clean because I use it so much. Like I said, man, washing the inside out. <clears throat> you know, you want to do that after you cook something like extremely greasy or if you breaded it. And it's just breading all over the place. I love this air fryer. I'm going to go digital for my next one. And it'll probably have a bigger basket on it. Let me scoot this out a little bit. Alright, we're done. Let's see what these sausages look like, baby. What can you tell me? Look at that, man. That's the way I like mine. And I did this for like about eight or nine minutes. I'll tell you what else too. I'm not bougie. Kroger wheat buns, babe. Kroger wheat buns. These things are delicious. They're soft. I'm about to go ahead and enjoy me a couple of these sausages. I'm glad I could keep this video under 10 minutes. Um, if you're interested, just leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you want me to cook anything else in here because we cook a lot of stuff in here. And that'll do it. This is Big Roll signing out.